My name is Erin Deck, and I am a system-wide gifted specialist for the Gadsden City School System. Because I'm a system-wide specialist, I chose to do my diversity plan for our high school, which is a cumulative school of all eight elementary schools filtered into three middle schools filtered into one central high school. So my diversity plan is for Gadsden City High School. Gadsden City High School Diversity Plan. Gadsden City High School is committed to empowering all through educational opportunities. Gadsden City High School is striving to create an inclusive environment for all students and stakeholders. Our mission is to build trusting relationships with our students as well as with the families of those students in order to build a school of excellence. Our goal is to develop students who are culturally competent transformational leaders who exhibit cultural awareness, knowledge, and skills for our ever-changing society. Gadsden City High School is committed to engaging students and opportunities to become global thinkers and to understand both commonalities and differences within and across multiple cultures. System-wide, we strive to have a staff that reflects the racial and cultural diversity of our community and those students who enter our buildings. Gadsden City High School is committed to providing many and varied opportunities for all staff to grow in their knowledge of the diverse cultures within our specific environment. Gadsden City High School will continue to seek and employ a diverse population conducive to our community in order to create a work environment that is free from prejudice and discrimination. The total student population of Gadsden City High School is 4,500 54 students. Broken down on the graph, on the PowerPoint, we have um, 2,328 students who are Black or African American, which comes out to be 47.96%. We have 1,887 students who are white. That's 38.88%. We have 870 students who are Hispanic and Latino. That comes out to 17.92%. We have 47 Asian students that comes out to 0.97%, 53 students who identify from as two or more races, which is 1.09%, 12 students that are Native Hawaiian or Pacific Islander, which is 0.25%, and American Indian students or Alaskan Natives, 527 students, which comes to 10.86%. The goals of our diversity plan um, that I created is to recruit and hire, to recruit and hire staff, teachers, and administrators from diverse backgrounds, um, to provide an environment that allows opportunities for students to increase cultural awareness, to encourage family and community involvement that creates and maintains a culturally inclusive school, and to facilitate ongoing opportunities for diversity training in order to create an awareness and passion for diverse groups. So before I go on to um, the different goals in this um, diversity plan, I want to talk a little bit about our teacher to student ratio. So at Gadsden City High School, there's a 17 teacher to one student ratio, or se sorry, 17 student to, for every one teacher ratio. So, um, however, when that's broken down, I noticed that 77.82% of our teachers are white and only 20.26% of our teachers are African American. And then it's broken down even more like 1.28% are Hispanic or Latino and only 0.26% are two races or more. But if you go back to this graph, you'll notice that the majority of our students, 47% of our students are African American. So if you look at our breakdown, um, our as far as our student population, our diverseness within our teacher groups um, is not um, really up to par. So um, that's one of the main things that I wanted to work on in this diversity plan. So goal number one is to recruit and hire staff, teachers, and administrators from diverse backgrounds. So how will do how will we do that? We will continue to recruit through the Gadsden City Schools website. We will advertise vacancies to culturally diverse institutions. 
We will increase our bilingual staff. We will recruit at local, local job fairs and at universities. And we will establish a scholarship for a minority student majoring in education with the hope that they will come back and apply for a job at our school. The second goal would be to provide an environment that allows opportunities for students to increase cultural awareness. How will we do that? We will present multicultural activities and programs to the student body that are guided by the students. So based on the students that we have in our schools and our diverse populations, we will allow the students to, um, of course, with um, teacher sponsors, um, allow them to present multicultural programs and have activities for the different students. One thing that Gadsden City High School did this past year was they highlighted um, our um, teachers um, from different backgrounds that attended um, minority colleges. And they had a college day where they brought um, memorabilia, um, their diplomas, their um, sororities or fraternity um, information. They brought their class rings. Um, different things from their different colleges and they set up in the hallway for students to come through and take a look at their different colleges that they attended um, to promote the college and career readiness of attending college and also to show that there are um, minority colleges out there. Another thing um, that I'll do is establish a school climate survey for grades K through 12 so that the students can fill out um, and turn in a form um, to help us navigate and um, increase our um, school climate and make it more positive. And then the third thing would be to utilize student testing information, ACAT work keys, um, the, a the ACT and different tests to gain an understanding of student strengths and weaknesses. Goal number three would be to encourage family and community involvement that creates and maintains a culturally inclusive school. I've noticed at the elementary level, because primarily that's where I teach is in the, the elementary level. However, being system wide, I see the middle school and I also see the high school. And I noticed that parent involvement kind of dwindles as their students get older. So this is an area where I feel like we need to kind of boost um, as far as diversity goes. So the first thing that we'll do is host frequent open forums that encourages honest conversations about concerns that parents have. Um, open houses in the fall, frequently update the school website, send information home in the student's language that's spoken at home, provide power school trainings for parents. Now, power school is our um, student database platform that we use so parents can check their grades and check their absences and things like that. Um, provide cultural celebrations at the school level and actually promote those with the parents in mind. So allowing the parents to actually have a hand in these cultural celebrations and then share information about the cultural events with the parents and the students. Goal number four would be to provide ongoing opportunities for diversity training in order to create an awareness and passion for diverse groups. My husband is from Cuba. My mother-in-law is Cuban. Um, she was born and raised in a concentration camp. So um, I, I've noticed that through um, being married to him and having a mother-in-law who was Cuban, she's kind of lumped into one category and, you know, automatically people think that she's from Mexico. Um, so I feel like we need um, more trainings for our teachers to not just lump students in categories, but to really seek out relationships with them in order to, you know, find out about their diverseness and not lump them into one um, category. And that way we create an awareness and passion. I certainly have more of an awareness and passion for diverse groups because of my family dynamic. So all employees of the Gadsden City High School will receive an annual diversity training. We will also establish a cultural diversity committee com comprised of one member of each department, one teacher from each department, meaning one from science, one from math, one from reading, um, you know, all the different departments within the school, we will have a diversity committee. And then we will also participate in a school-based PLC on cultural diversity in order to gain strategies and to create a more inclusive environment. So that is my diversity plan for Gadsden City High School. Thank you very much.